Hey guys, Brian here with VetSource on a Sunday afternoon. Just wanted to take a quick moment to share with you a really amazing, cool find I picked up uh, over the weekend. You know, I've, I've kind of gotten used to finding neat stuff and things that are unusual. So it's, I don't, you know, I don't get overly excited, but I do actually enjoy some of the stuff I pick up. So I wanted to share this one with you because it just blew me away uh, that I found this. So digging around for car parts as usual over the weekend, things of that nature, and came across this. And it's funny is that half the people, or 80% of the people I asked have no idea what this is. <coughs> a few others recognize it, but I'll, I'll give you a little hint here, as I almost knock it over. But uh, interesting little piece, right? So when I first saw this, I thought this was a, like an old regulator off an old antique air compressor or uh, a dryer, something of that nature. And uh, realized after talking to the gentleman that had it, that uh, this in fact, guys, is a locomotive steam whistle. Uh, probably at the very minimum, this thing is 100 years old. Um, you now I did a little research once I acquired it and it is a variable pitch uh, steam whistle, which you can see the cutouts here are all a little bit different. Um, they're a little bit broader than the others. And it's just a basic design here. I'll flip it over. It's really heavy. It's made out of brass. Um, but uh, you can see where the steam line would go through here. And this would be the closing, uh, the backstop for the valve. And it should have a handle here, but the handle was removed. I think at one point what probably happened is this thing was installed maybe in a factory somewhere or something because it's just got a straight line going into it. It's funny, it's got a number 15 um, stamp there on the nut going in. And what's interesting is you, you can kind of see the old English or the typeset, typeface of that is pretty interesting. It's different. And then, of course, there's some numbers there. I haven't really been able to determine what those are. I think it's a 132488. But you can see it's, it's essentially a fairly, what you think, a simple uh, kind of design. Now, this is all brass. I know you just heard me dinging on this. So it's an entirely brass thing, but it's got what they call the acorn on top. And uh, just, you know, for for... When you're looking at antique stuff, this is just cool, you know? I, I, I think actually this has been one of the items that you want to kind of leave alone. I might do a few things to it, maybe try to find the original uh, handle assembly and see if I can figure out a way to hook this thing back up again uh, to see if it'll work for me. But um, yeah, you can see a little bit of the brass shining through right there. But it actually, from what I've been reading, is worth more in its original condition than if I cleaned it up. I'd actually lose value on this to clean it up. So I wanted to share this with you because, you know, like I said, I find stuff a lot. This is what I do is dig around, but it's not very often that I come across 100 plus year old items. And if you've never listened to a steam whistle, I'll try to figure out a way to link some videos where some really neat steam whistle sounds. Now, one thing about this too, this is a very large steam whistle. This is 16 inches from uh, top of the unit to the base and four inches across. This unit would produce, I think what I've seen reading, is a middle C uh, type note at 266 hertz, I believe. I mean, it was kind of interesting, the science that went behind it when I looked this up on Wikipedia, of course. And, um, but this makes a ridiculously loud sound, so I may in a future video even try to get this hooked up to my uh, air compressor and see if I can run some air through it and see if I can get some noise out of it, because I think it'd be really cool. But uh, just wanted to share that with you guys. I know it's not entirely car Corvette related, but it is transportation. And I discovered it while I was out looking for car parts. It was funny. It was just kind of laying there. Uh, just, you know, like like nothing. No, it's la 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 la. Nobody just really cared about it. So uh, just another uh, thing that I find of interest. If any of you guys are girls watching this and have any uh, details on this. I can't find any maker marks on it or stampings other than that to see what the manufacturer was. I would love to get some information on this thing to see who made it uh, and kind of see, you know, what's a little bit more in detail about how to make it work again. So, uh, appreciate you guys checking in with me too, watching the video, taking the time. I'll put a few links on my left. You got my subscribe button. 
a few other links to some of the exploring that I do out here uh, to look for stuff and cool items to show off and let you guys look at because this is really to me a kind of a history aspect but again thanks for watching and we'll be checking back in midweek talk to you guys then thanks